We're waiting for the diagnostic of the garage today. And so while we wait, we're gonna go for a hike. But before that, we're gonna have lunch. And we're going with Tom. Tom. The hike is here, the lunch is here. I know I've got it. Hey, this is Next Meridian. We are Nick and Mathilde, and we left everything behind to travel the world with our Land Rover Defender, Albatros. Three years, seven continents, 88 countries, and just the road as a home. It is 7 a.m., it is minus, I don't know, it's very cold. And we are going to try to do uh, Albatros with Jerry, now that we are outside of the park. We need to do it today, probably this morning, because Tonight they announced 10 inches of snow in Yellowstone and in the area. So 10 inches, like about 30 centimeters, I guess. So yeah, no pressure. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Sweet. All right, let's get a word. Thanks, Chris. Right, superb. Okay, here we go. Let me know when there's so much nice flag. Yeah, everything's good here. You can go. Oh, and the slack. Uh, keep going a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. All right. Ooh. That was smooth. That was smooth. Oh, yeah, good start. Jerry to the rescue. Can I change the gear? <laughs> Go on, Jerry, change gear. Now it's minus four degrees. Oh. <laughs> After our breakdown in Yellowstone and the towing out of the park, we eventually made it to a garage in Jackson with the help of Tom and Jerry. In this episode, we try to understand what happened to our car and discover Grand Teton National Park, both at the same time. All of this in time before it gets cold. Winter is catching up on us and every day we stay stuck here, it gets colder and colder. Almost there, thank God Tom is here. Huge, yeah. huge thank you to Tom. Yeah, totally. Really, really, really helpful. We made we it. We made it. <laughs> it's cold. Yeah, it is. Some guys from the garage was like, guys, I see you come. Yeah, we don't even know the guy, but. Are they behind you? Yeah, we're good. He, he likes so to defend it, and I yeah. think he knows. Perfectly well. So to the to the question, can Jerry do it? Jerry, do Jerry it. can. Oh, good. So good. Guys, guys, guys! Before we start, Jerry, can I have a situation point? Uh, we just left the. <laughs> Jerry. Jerry is my. Hello. <laughs> we just uh, left the defender at Detail Driven, which apparently also has defenders, and he's worked on multiple defenders. <laughs> a little dance. Sing a little dance. <laughs> and so hopefully uh, they will do the diagnostic today. Find out what it is. If there's a spare part to order, order it. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and what are we doing in the meantime? In the meantime, Tom is bringing us around, and I think we're gonna go to Grand Teton. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Let's go back and look at it better. Or? Yeah. Yeah. It looks awesome. We're gonna drive more or less, or even less dirty. Yeah. Since we had arrived on Friday, uh, we had all of Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to wait around. So with Tom, we went and drove around uh, Grand Teton, did some hikes, looked for animals, things like that, while we waited for Monday to arrive so that the garage could have some time and take a look at the car.
Matil Safari style, taking pictures. I actually love my out of the window. Stepping into Jerry. All right. Because what are we doing exactly? Why are we stepping on to Jerry? <laughs> We're gonna have an intense car drive. <laughs> <laughs> on this side, we've got the mountains. Got a pretty cool setup. Yeah. Who's gonna win? I'll show you. Me. Matilda has won yesterday. This guy, Kiwi. This Kiwi. guy's gonna win. <laughs> I was the middleman. Matilda won a lot. He lost a lot. Be flipped. Tonight, stay in the I stay in the middle. <laughs> Perfect. So we just took over Jerry. Yeah. Hijack, man. We hijacked the car. Ours doesn't want... <laughs> we put Tom in the back. That's fine. And then we are going to Grand Teton. I thought we were looking for a dinner space. Yeah, yeah. We're going to look oh, for a dinner <laughs> it was so good because we felt we didn't lose any time and the weather was awesome. We saw so many animals, we did amazing hikes. It was just a really, really fun time and we felt like we were not losing time. It was it, We didn't feel we were just waiting for the car. It is snowing tonight and our lithium battery is running out of power. And it's also the battery that powers our heater, diesel heater. So Jerry again coming to save us is going to help us charge the battery all right negative negative in okay my is coming off 230. Woo. that is great it's working yeah 230 watts nice one man nice look at that sweet Tonight, it's curry night. So I'm cooking the rice, very easy job. And Tom, over here, he's the one cooking all the vegetables with the curry paste and everything. There we go, awesome. And then movie night in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How much of this? Uh, two spoons. And if you really want, then we could put three. Two big, big spoons, yeah. So three. Yeah, go for three. Just Is one three. That's all right. You like spicy, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll go down real fast. <laughs> Look what Nick and Tom cooked tonight. Anyone would mind describing me the dish? In a delicious. Delicious. <laughs> Rice curry. It's got uh, broccoli, carrots, uh, green beans. Beep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then all the sauces and condiments. Ah, oh, yeah, that's mm. what we mm -hmm. love. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Dig in. Really green bean? We're waiting for the diagnostic of the garage today. And so while we wait, we're going to go for a hike. But before that, we're going to have lunch. And we're going with Tom. Tom. <laughs> The hike is here, the lunch is here, and we're cold. And it's cold, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's another day of waiting. So we figured we needed some exercise and decided to see what the Grand Teton Mountains looked from closer up. We figured there would be snow, but we're not against a little challenging adventure to keep ourselves busy.
By the time we made it to our destination, the lake at the top, we had snow reaching above our knees, our gloves and camelback were freezing, and progression was harder and harder. The lake of the Calgs was a dream, but we didn't take the time to enjoy the view up there. Weather was turning and temperatures were dropping. Winter had caught up on us. <sighs> I just hope we don't hurt ourselves. We got really cold feet, really cold ankles, cold hands. Well, we asked for it, we wanted adventure. I just hope we don't break ourselves because then we'd have to fix elbow and ourselves, which we don't want. All right, anyway, let's go. But by the Monday, temperatures dropped dramatically, went down to minus six, and it started snowing regularly. Um, and our diesel heater stopped because the car was like kind of at the garage and nothing was working. So one morning we woke up and there was ice on the inside of the car. Suddenly winter happened, like just came out of nowhere. Um, pretty much memories before Jackson was like, oh, it's cold, but it's not too bad. After Jackson's just like cold, snowy, <laughs> always trying to get warm. It is Tuesday. Yesterday we didn't get the feedback on the final diagnostic on the car. We hope we'll get it this morning because in the meantime uh, we have no more diesel heater. It's minus five during the night and it's snowing. It's awesome. <laughs> First reaction of Tom from the snow. Ah, Good morning, man. How are you guys? Ah, oh, dude, it was cold night. I found like 3 a.m. because we started really hot. Yeah. We we're good and we we're like, okay. And at some time at 3 a.m., I woke up. I'm like, damn, it's cold. Yeah. I jump down, go towards the thing. Yeah. I see it's still on. Turn it off. Turn it on. And I hear it go a little bit, and I'm going into bed. Yeah. And then like 10 minutes later, it just ends. Yeah, you're right. I should probably call them first. Yeah. Yeah instead of calling in Europe. So on my engine, there's that black cover. Yeah. That with all the... So yeah, it's also in my Lambo now. Zero trois. So just to give a quick uh, update, we checked, uh, well, they checked the engine and uh, yesterday afternoon, they looked in with a microscopic camera into the valves and the pistons and everything looks fine. So the only thing that they Imagine which creates a blow by it's um, the injector seals. So there's four injectors So I have to order them from the UK. We found them already. We're ready to ship them DHL But that means we have to do next week Monday because today's Tuesday um, So we'll have to figure something out to do around here or go somewhere At the same time we realized that we needed to wait for the spare parts for a week and With Nick we really figured that we needed to go out of Jackson for that week it was getting too cold. Jackson is very expensive, it's a touristic area and most Sacramento emissions were just way above our means. So yeah, so we thought, okay, maybe let's go to some friends in Colorado, they can host us for a week and we can hitch a ride. And then Tom came back again in the picture and he said, listen guys, let's, let's just go for a tour together and we'll find a way to get you back to Jackson in a week. And we can travel with Jerry in the meantime. At that point, I really understood Tom. Like, he's, he was not taking us into pity. Like, he, we obviously friends and didn't want to let us down, but he just likes the adventure and he knows we do too. So it was very generous of him. We took him up on his offer. Take a second. Sweet. Yeah, let's go down. So you gotta just get a swimming suit and towel? I have my swimming yeah, suit on. Yes. And while we're driving, we can think of what we do until next week. Yeah. yeah. We have nothing to do. <laughs> I, was just, I was having a look at the map just before. And see. Cool. Awesome. Pretty good. To finish the day with a funny touch, we found some hot springs. So hopefully we will find them along the river. But normally they're just down there. So we're just going to relax and make plans for what's coming up next. Because now that we know that the parts are coming in a week, uh, we need to think about what we're going to do next. So let's see. 
<laughs> How is it? Yes. Yeah, it is. Today's Tuesday, and I don't think we get the parts until Monday, and it will take them half a day to fix it. So, until Monday, for sure, afternoon, we will not be able to pick up the car. Uh, so, we have until Monday afternoon to get back here, which gives us six days. So, we'll do Mount Rushmore, maybe, what was the park? Badlands. Badlands National Park. Badlands yeah. National Park. It's got badass rainbow National colored park. mountains, right? <laughs> yeah, Badass yeah. National Park. <laughs> I call it Badass Mountain <laughs> Park. Then go to Denver, Rocky Mountains, do some hiking, then come back to Salt Lady. Salt, Salt Lake Lady. City. Salt Lady. <laughs> there we go. Salt Lake City. He goes Still mountain right. biking. Maybe we join him. And if it's already oh, Monday yeah. afternoon, then we go back by bus to here, which is Jackson Hole. And then pick up the car and then maybe Meet back. join him. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Depends if you're invited. <laughs> oh, that's how it is. Oh, After five days, that's a twist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I wanted to stick around with these guys because they're they're good fun to travel with, good friends, and so we decided to head out towards uh, Mount Rushmore, uh, Denver, and Badlands National Park, so we could do a big big loop. And so the three of us piled into the car, one person in the back, two in the front, and off we went. And we spent the next four or five days. Um, actually it was seven days all up um, doing that tour which was a lot of fun and I mean big miles but big smiles <laughs> the choice was simple either we could freeze in our car without heater and stay stuck at the garage for an entire week waiting for spare parts or embark with Tom and Jerry for a new kind of adventure we did not hesitate a second Expedition Jerry was on and it is all in next episode. To be sure you do not miss the new adventure, subscribe to the channel. See you next week! Actually, <laughs> you could play baseball with that you throw a uh, yeah. snowball. Hang on. Ooh, that's cold. I got a big one, it's easy. Okay, ready? <laughs> Alright, another. Closer to you. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> nice. I almost got a piece of your stick in my head. <laughs>